or wrinkle. Watch this. When Nazi Germany attacked Britain in 1940, Winston Churchill called on his people to defend Christian civilization. Today, there is a new kind of battle in Britain, and Christianity is again at stake. Dale Hurd reports from London. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth. Like British monarchs before her, she promised to maintain the laws of God and the true profession of the gospel. But Britain today is at war with the gospel and with itself. Christians who try to be Christians in the workplace risk being demoted or fired, and the government continues to push an aggressive gay rights agenda, while threatening to criminalize Christian speech and practice. Christian politician and activist George Hargraves. Yesterday, I got a letter from the Advertising Standards Authority of a complaint saying that my billboard that says Britain is a Christian country is offensive to atheists and other religions and it incites hatred against them. What nonsense! Britain is constituted as a Christian country. Daily prayers are said in Parliament whether atheists like it or not. The Queen is the head of the Church of England and therefore has to acknowledge God for her sovereignty over the nation. These things are written into not just our culture and our heritage but into our constitution. Great Britain is officially a Christian nation and in fact at one time was the missionary base for the entire world, even sending missionaries to the new American colonies. But Britain today in practice is increasingly anti-Christian and the cases of anti-Christian bigotry and discrimination are beginning to pile up. In response, Christian legal centers have mobilized. Lawyer Andrea Minicello Williams of Christian Concern for Our Nation warns that if British Christians don't step up now, Britain is on a path to criminalize the practice of Christianity in public. There's been a massive move by the secularist lobby to privatize religion. You can have faith so long as it doesn't affect you in the workplace, so long as you don't bring it into the workplace. Just make it private. It can't be public. It can't affect what you do in the public square. Christian Quabena Pete was forced to attend homosexual sensitivity training at work, administered by a lesbian. One of the things that she said was when she asked the question, what makes you all think that to be heterosexual is natural? At which point I walked out. He then wrote a letter to the sensitivity trainer explaining the Bible's position on homosexuality and that God loved her and he loved her. He was suspended. They said that by me telling them about the word of God, it's constituted harassment and intimidation. Quabena was just recently reinstated. Cases like Quabena's are repeated over and over in Britain. Doctors, nurses, adoptive parents deemed unfit because of their Christian beliefs. Christians are told not to speak about God in the workplace or they're punished for offending homosexuals or Muslims. Now the British government wants to pass a new equality bill that would force churches to hire practicing homosexuals or transsexuals. Christian lawyer Paul Diamond has been very successful in fighting Christian discrimination cases in the courts. In the United Kingdom, the homosexual agenda is militants, and they've been arresting Christians, jailing Christians for hate crimes, shutting off grants, constant litigation with the government, constant aggression, there's no live and let live, your Christian values are wicked and evil and that's what they want everybody to believe. That sounds like a BBC program which portrayed a violent Christian beheading a Muslim. Britain's government TV has also put a Muslim in charge of all of its religious programming. Islam continues to advance in the UK in large part because the government and media give it almost a protected status, while essentially persecuting its own state religion, Christianity. Many believe the architect of Britain's new anti-Christian culture was former Prime Minister Tony Blair, who championed gay rights. And during our interviews with Minicello, Williams and Diamond, they both offered the same warning to American Christians, that any anti-life or hate crimes legislation under the Obama administration will erode America's Christian base. This is all coming to America if you liberalize the laws, as President Obama has done. Do you know who Obama reminds every British person of? Tony Blair. Charming, persuasive, convincing, um, appearance of moderation, and then shoved all the Judeo-Christian values down, saying he was a Christian as he did it. So we know what's going to happen in America. 
We know what's going to happen to your 40% church attendance. It isn't 40%. It's going to be 20%. When the, when the federal and state government starts saying, if you criticize homosexuality, the hate crime laws will apply to you Christians. Dale heard CBN News.